and the actual antidote is this experimental approach. Mm -hmm. And it's funny, I got, I, I wrote, I wrote this into my thinking too. When I was marathon training for the first time, um, I got through my first four hour run and I, you know, this is just natural to me for some reason. I got through my first four hour run, not by thinking, Oh, I got six miles to go or 20 miles to go or whatever. I would look at the ground in front of me and say, get to the next crack on the sidewalk. And I did that <laughs> over and over and over for four hours mm -hmm. and I got through it. And I think that's a kind of an analogy for this. It's like, you just have to continue to focus on the, on getting really good at understanding what is going to give you valuable information that you're on the right path yeah. or, or need to change. Yeah. You know, I, the, and the reason why I think this is such an important idea, I remember someone once asked me, I think it was on a podcast about, you know, my ability, they said they commented, I think on my ability to handle failure. Well, because if you're running a lot of experiments, you know, they're like naturally uh, many will fail and some will succeed. And then it, it hit me in that moment. I'm not sure that I was counting my experiments or measuring them by failure and success um, because the experiment wasn't meant to be the thing like that. That was meant to be a test to your point to determine if I need to keep moving in this direction or not, or if I need to course correct. 